Hi, Lonnie. I'm Sarah from the upcoming. So lovely to speak to you. How are you doing? Good. I'm good. How about you? How are you doing? Yeah, very well. Um, so, ex so excited to speak to you about this film. So maybe you could just kick off with a brief introduction to the boy behind the door. And what was it attracted you about playing Bobby and uh, when you first read the script? I remember when I first had gotten the full script. So I'll tell you about the I'll tell you about the reaction I had at the end of it a little bit later. But when I had first read the beginning, I thought that oh, this is sweet. And so I realized that they won't get kidnapped. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. It came so sudden. I mean, as you watch in the movie, you would never expect it to happen that quick. But that's how quick it happens in real life. But um, I wanted to do this movie very badly because I have never done a horror movie before. So. I was very intrigued when I first got the script, but my reaction to the end of the script was a little bit different. I was, I remember when I was reading it, I was very, very shocked because, I mean, I don't know about you, but I would never expect a kidnapper to be a woman and an old woman at that, at that too. So I was very, very shocked and I hope it spreads more awareness. And you know, what do you think is distinctive about filming uh, a horror film? Because, you know, especially the first part of the film, everything's very understated. It almost um, takes place in silence. It's almost in darkness, you know, a real feeling of suspense. But what's it like from your side as an actor having to, to shoot that, you know? Was there a lot of tension on set? Did you, you know, have to kind of build it up as you were, as you were filming it as well? Um... A lot of people ask that, and they, get, and they get surprised when I answer it with no. <laughs> it was actually very, very fun. Me and Ezra had so many moments where uh, we were supposed to be very serious and intense, and, you know, it's hard. It's, we're supposed to be hectic right now. We're yelling and screaming and crying, but me and him would, like, make a joke. <laughs> and the little five-minute break that we had, and we would die laughing. I mean, I love Ezra. We had so much fun. It wasn't as serious as you think it was. I mean, it was serious in some moments, but... It was very, very funny, by the said. Uh, the stunt guy, he had gotten us like these toy alien guns who, they had lasers and they went really, really far. So me and him, we had a blast. <laughs> we had a blast filming this movie. I mean, it was fun. And were there any moments that were particularly hard to shoot or that were actually particularly fun? What were sort of like the highs and lows, if you like? A little bit, yeah, yeah, actually. Um, one of those beginning scenes where I'm yelling in the trunk, not only me, not only was it hard for me because I had to scream and cry and I had to have tape over my mouth, <laughs> I had to get it off and I had to breathe, um, I had to drink a lot of water. It was hard for my mom because imagine me, I mean, are you a mom? Yeah. Yes, you're a mom. Yeah, no. right. Recently, 10 months. Re oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Just imagine this. I mean, you probably don't want to imagine it, but my mom, she had to watch that take of me crying and screaming and kicking out of that trunk. I mean, she had to step off sets almost through every single take. It was hard for her. So my dad had to take me or try to take me a few times because it was very hard for her to be there. <laughs> Uh, you had some some fun in between the the more intense scenes as well. Mm -hmm. 100%. <laughs> and what was it like working working with the directors David and Justin um, as a pair? You know, what were they like as directors? Were they giving a lot of instruction? Were they letting you kind of uh, improvise a bit here and there? On a lot of takes, they were letting me improvise a little bit here and there. I mean, because I don't really have that many lines in this movie. I mean, it's really just me. Um, to be honest, I had to kind of just wing it. <laughs> I had to think about what Bobby would be doing in the situation, what an actual person would be doing in the situation, and just put that on my face. I mean, but yeah, they gave some directions every now and then. Um, I felt like it's a little bit, I wouldn't say better, but it might just be a tad bit easier when there's two directors, because when one of them doesn't know what to give you, like if one of them just gives you a very simple direction, but he doesn't really know what to tell you. The other one can jump in and he can tell you what to say exactly just like that. So I feel like it's a little bit easy. I don't want to exaggerate it too much, but it's a little bit more easy. I was wondering what you were thinking about 
you know, kind of the, the concept of this film, because normally in horror films and these types of horror films where someone's kidnapped and, you know, sort of horrendous things are implied, um, it's normally adult characters. So, you know, it's quite unusual to see children in this situation and, you know, sort of the things that we see happen to them. So did you think that that was unusual? And, you know, what, what do you think the impact of that is, is seeing it happen to children rather than adult characters? I've, I think that it was different. This is a challenging role. I'll say that first. This is a very, very challenging role. The reason I wanted to do this is because everything in this movie is something that I have not been around before. This is me just stepping into a different perspective, trying something out, seeing if it can boost my career up, seeing if it can boost my acting up. And I honestly feel like it did. I love challenging roles. I feel like they make you a better person and make you even a better actor afterwards. So. This is different from anything else I've ever done. I feel like I might do a little bit more horror movies now because of this. This changed my experience, my perspective. So I'm definitely probably gonna do a little bit more horror movies now. And do you think that, you know, there's something great also about having more black leads, black character leads, if you think in, particularly in horror films, um, you know, the, the success of films like Get Out, it feels like, you know, there's a shift happening. And so do you feel like it's great to have that increase in representation and also to be part of that shift in, in the roles you're playing? Oh, a hundred percent, I agree. I mean, this is our time right now, no offense, but the black community, we're actually rising up right now and we're using our voices again and they're being heard this time. So and I'm very proud of us. And, you know, already in your career, you've been involved in a short film, which won an Oscar. You've been, uh, you know, in the film, The Waterman. So what were those experiences like? And where do you hope for your career to go next? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, that experience was different too. The Waterman was, it wasn't really different per se, but it was definitely a challenging role too. And, from what I've been doing so far, the two, these two movies that I did two, two years ago, they were both very challenging roles. <laughs> and they were both a little bit different from anything that I've done. So both of them were just, was just kind of me playing around a little bit, seeing what I could do with my acting, pretty much. But I'm not gonna say too much, but I just got done working on a film with Marcus Scribner, Cedric the Entertainer, and Method Man. I'm not gonna like to put too much out there, but I I'm really excited for that one to come out. It's gonna be a good movie. Who do you look up to most in terms of actors? You know, do you have like your role models? You know, that that you've watched and you think, oh, I want to kind of tread a similar path to them. Hmm. Uh, mm. At first, I was gonna maybe say Denzel or Kevin Hart, but I feel like I used to give those answers like four years ago, but I feel like maybe now, now that I'm a little bit older, I can see that I don't really want to be like them. I kind of want to be my own me when it comes to the acting wise. I'm going to grow up and I feel like I'm going to make my own stand and I don't want to lead in somebody else's path enough. But I don't really look up to anybody when it comes to the acting genre. But in real life, just in general, it might be my dad. I look up to him when it comes to really anything. He can help me with anything. I mean, even acting sometimes. It just really comes with the side of him. <laughs> and also one of the key parts of the film, I think, is like, you know, that line, friends until the end. And there's lots of films I remember from when I was younger, like The Goonies where it's all about these kind of kid friendships. I mean, obviously this goes to a much darker place, but you know, what were the sort of films that maybe you watched when you were younger that might have inspired some of the ideas of, you know, that those kind of friendships uh, that, that young kids have that are kind of really sacred in a way? I really, really love when there's a movie when, you know, kids that go into an entire adventure just because this one little thing happened. <laughs> I mean, look at Narnia, I mean, they went into the closet and then they found a whole place and now they're in a whole entire war. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's crazy, but I love films like that. I always 
watch films like that growing up. I'm probably gonna watch another one after this now that I just got that into my mind. <laughs> and if you think, if you were ever in this position, would you do as Bobby does? And would you go back for your friend? Or if you were in the same situation, maybe you wouldn't be as brave. I don't know, what do you think? It depends on which friend, <laughs> but I'm probably, I'm probably, yeah, I might, I might go back, but it really depends on which friend. Like if it's my day ones, oh, a hundred percent. But if it's somebody that I just met a year ago, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, come on, <laughs> you can't put that on me. So, yeah, I feel like I would go back for anybody. Though. All jokes, I feel like I would go back for anybody. I mean, I'm bored. I haven't done anything in a while. Okay, <laughs> like I just shot this new movie. I haven't done anything in a while. So, yeah, I'll go back. I'm bored. I'll go back. <laughs> And, you know, how does it feel to be putting a film out right now, considering the year that we've had um, with the pandemic, mm. it kind of cinema had to Great. almost grind to a halt. So, you know, what does it mean to you to, to be able to put a film out right now? I, I am absolutely grateful. It's, it's a blessing, basically. When the Waterman, and when I shot Waterman and Boy Behind the Door after, when, uh, when we were in post and they were going to come out, when Corona came, I was very, very nervous that these movies wouldn't even come out because they were really good movies. I feel like they could step up my career and put something different out there that I haven't done before. But I was very nervous. It might have put a little delay on movies coming out because nobody could go to the movie theaters. Everybody just stayed right inside doing nothing which was very great at first, but it sucked in the last nine months. <laughs> but yeah, I was very nervous for everything. I mean, I thought that I had to stop shooting This Is Us too. I mean, it almost stopped everything. It sucked, but we got through it and we're here today. <laughs> and what do you hope that people will take away from this film? I mean, I guess there's something about horror which can be kind of an escape for people. Um, but they can also be difficult to watch. And as you were saying, kind of the reveal as well, you know, completely unexpected. So what do you think that people will take away from the film ultimately? So be aware a lot more and to never trust anybody <laughs> because I was very, very shocked. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not trying to be way more excessive than I am right now. I want to, but I can't. But I'm telling you, I was very, very shocked when I saw that it was a woman because me myself i would never think that a kidnapper is a woman and she was an old woman at that too maybe mid 50s mid 40s you would never think that i mean i would never think that so i was very surprised but i hope people spread more awareness about child trafficking and kidnapping 100 percent. all right well it's been so lovely to chat to you thanks so much and um Thank you so much. Best of luck with your next projects as well so Thank lovely you. to speak to you thanks a lot Thank lonnie you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Have a good day.